Me and my new mascot, Purple Skull. Skull. Skulls. Yeah. That's kind of where we are right now. Yeah. Yeah. It was a little tough today. I watched the um the service for George Floyd. It was it was intense. Just being quiet for eight minutes and forty six seconds was profound. So I'm just praying right now that um, the momentum continues. I don't want it to dissipate because it's so important that we use this time. And it's sadly, uh, you know, it took somebody horrifically dying like that to wake a lot of people up. But it, yeah, we're in a different place now for sure. And I think, um, I, I hope that we're not going backward in any way and that this is a real um, like straw that broke the camel's back of change that we've wanted to see for decades. I, I pray for that. Um, I was uh, painting today. I'm doing some little oh, how fun. projects uh, that zen me out because I'm so stressed um, over everything that's happening in our world. And um uh, I listened to uh, a YouTube of the town hall from yesterday. Uh, and it's funny, like on YouTube, it says, oh, Obama talks about, reacts to George Floyd. Mm -hmm. But really what it is is, and we can put up the link, is Obama talking to like the top organizations for change that mm -hmm. are been doing just incredible work for years and um, he talks with them, but mostly they talk amongst themselves and they're just bright, incredible young people. Uh, they had like the mayor of Minneapolis. They had, um, you know, all these different organizations and the organization I want to highlight today is um, called colorofchange.org. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they just do, you know, they're just doing the Lord's work every day to, um, help people change the mindset and the strategies of education of really making real change and enlightening people. And I highly, highly recommend this town hall. It's an hour of your time, but it just will mm -hmm. educate you on a lot of things that you don't know about what's going on within the movement. And mm -hmm. I certainly learned a lot and it was just, it gave me hope because it's the youth course we all have to band with the youth but it's really the youth it's their world you know and yeah. you gotta get on it and it yep. like, I mean I, I really have a lot of hope when I listen to these people um, who are just incredibly brilliant so anyway if you have extra bucks and you're not into protesting or you're not into you know being loud you can go help out some other people so we're mm -hmm. gonna highlight something every day so that's mine for today um thank you for that work you're doing Color yeah. So today it's very hot. <laughs> it is hot today. Oh Although it looks like something flowing in right now. I don't know if we're going to get any precipitation from it, but it definitely changed in the last half yeah, an hour. It did change, but it's super humid for our for our climate right now and hot, even though it's overcast at the moment. Um, so I was just thinking about granita and it's Italian ices and plushies mm. and all that kind of stuff. And um, granita is just a delicious, delicious, easy thing. Super so, easy. It's super so, easy. And it's a wonderful, um, it could be a dessert for you on a summer mm -hmm. evening. It could be, you know, it's just calorie free you know it's just i it's just fruit ice um mm -hmm. presented in, 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 and and texturized in a really crunchy good way um and you know it could be palate cleanser if they want to you know a lot of people mm -hmm. have them you know not super sweet and they you know have those in between courses for fun and it's just there's so much you can do with these things but it's um, sorbet ish yes sorbet -ish. Yeah. now sorbet, sorbet ish is like ice cream, like gelato without the dairy, but mm -hmm. it is a very smooth texture. Mm -hmm. Almost like mm -hmm. a perfect smoothie that would roll into a ball, you know, on an ice um, on an ice cream scoop. Um, Granita is a sandy, almost 
uh, pebbly, sandy, crunchy texture. Mm -hmm. um, and it definitely is fun to make. And especially if you have kids and stuff. I used to make this with my kids and they're like, okay, smash the ice. <laughs> um, although, Bring out the ice pick. <laughs> although, again, it takes hours. But yeah. it's not difficult, but it is hours of work. Um, and the reason why it is is because you have to keep scraping it you know, on the hourly intervals before you're going to serve it. And then mm -hmm. once it's done, you can, it lasts, I, I don't know, what do you think, like about a week or so? If you oh, yeah. It. Yeah, I had it in my freezer for about a week the last time I made it. Yeah, so. It doesn't, it doesn't last much longer than that if you have people that eat it. <laughs> Trust me, you're going to eat the whole thing. Yeah. There's going to be any to save, so, you know. Um, I My favorite uh, granitas are um, the citrus kind and uh, I just think citrus goes really well but they're just unlimited combinations and it's so fun to experiment with tastes and palettes like um, the kind of herbs with the citrus or if you're doing fruit like or melons or um, raspberries or strawberries you know you really just experiment with the fruit now the the controversy, if you will, is how to texturize the granita. Like I've always done it the same way where you put it in a glass or metallic pan mm -hmm. and you um, take a fork mm -hmm. and you scrape it, you know. Um, some people, and I didn't know this until I read about it, um, they just sheet, sheet it, freeze it like in a sheet and then they put it in like a Vitamix blender afterwards. Um, oh, and they crush it. They like do like crushed ice, which I have never done. No, me neither. Um, so there's lots of different ways. Some people, but you know, you and you and you and I are just like homestead girls. We're like, no, uh, I just crush it with my hands. <laughs> well, and also there's um, you know, some people. Well, it's funny. Martha Stewart, her guy is like, oh, you whisk it like three times, and I'm like, whisk what? <laughs> I had never heard of that. Yeah. Um, I thought that was interesting. But then well, I was just you a specific like copper whisk. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's like a no, it has to be a seven bladed whisk with <laughs> that's you know, 18 inches long. You know, the best of the best. Um, yeah. But I'm doing I'm just gonna do it with a fork and I have already prepared some gritty. Oh yay. <laughs> finished product. However, I will present what we make uh, probably late night tonight or tomorrow. Um, so, uh, the first thing that you want to do, I'm making a grapefruit mint, I've decided. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm definitely going to make the simple syrup. In fact, I already started it. Um, I do want to tell you, though, remember last time, what was I making where I used the honey simple syrup? Oh, the mojito. Yeah. Um, now, that worked really well in that drink, like say you didn't want to use cane sugar. Right. Um, and I have found, because I just did the honey simple syrup for this um, orange uh, mm -hmm. green that I made earlier today, and it's not the same. Um, <laughs> it's okay, it's more like a flush puppy, um, but you really need the sugar uh, yeah. simple syrup. I think it, it changes the structure of the fruit and it makes it this crunchy, delicious, yeah. granular nature. Honey just didn't do it. Um, now you can still do it, of course, right? But um, you know, so if you're worried about the sugar, you can make the sugar a lesser amount. Use organic sugar, of course. Um, you know, it's totally up to you. This is this is tailor. You tailor make it how you want to do it. Right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I'm gonna. The the main thing right now is to get the um, citrus without the pulp and you just want the clearest um, juice you can get. So that means, hello strainer, you're my new friend. Yes. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to, before I do that. Wow, those are gorgeous oranges. Beautiful, I got these yep. beautiful pink grapefruit. Whoa, I want they're gorgeous. Pulp. So what I'm going to do before I squeeze these is I'm going to use this little, you know, this is my other zester. We talked about this. 
Oh yeah. There's the microblade. And then yep. there's this one that's like, like little round circles. Yeah. Yes. And it, you, you scrape the citrus and it just makes these beautiful curly cues. Mm -hmm. And I want that to be in my granita for an extra tart hit of grapefruit. And it's also really pretty. Yeah. So I'm going to just get some of this off. It's like a peeler, but it just peels the, um, the actual peel without taking any of the pith with it. And it makes these beautiful ribbons. I'm just gonna, and they're really thin. What a great invention, I'm gonna show you. So if you're a cook or you know a cook who doesn't have this little guy, just buy this because look at this. I mean. It's so pretty. Perfect for like candied citrus mm -hmm. or whatever. And it's not, it's just the perfect. Um, or if you want to put it in a salad dressing or something like yeah. that, really pretty. I use this thing all the time. Not as much as the lemon squeezy Peggy. No, not as much as the lemon squeezy Peggy. <laughs> but I'm going to make. But we um, have all kinds of, of citrus devices. <laughs> so I'm going to put this um, actually in my simple syrup for this because I think that. It's going to be nice in there. Um, mm -hmm. And then I got some fresh mint from the garden. And I'm going to put that in my simple syrup also. And I'm going to. Are you going to slap it? That's all I need to know. <laughs> Are you going to slap that mint? <laughs> of course. I'm going to slap yes. it. You know I am. I know. Um, <laughs> yeah. The water really, I'm actually going to chop it. I'll slap it for you. <laughs> I'll slap it. Um, I'm going to chop it in a very fine manner because I want it to be in every bite. Um, so I'm going to use about, you want to do like a tablespoon of mint for this um, recipe. And I'm using the simple syrup that's one cup water, one cup sugar. Okay. Um, and before we went live, I took the water, I put it in a pan, I'm gonna show you in a second, and I dissolved it, whisked it, and boiled it, and then I have been letting it cool. Um, you wanna use it cool, so easy, it just dissolves in a minute. And um, so I'm gonna chop up this mint and put it in there with these beautiful um, grapefruit zesty ribbons. Mm -hmm. I love um, mint and citrus together. Oh, me too. It's the best. Now, what's another favorite combo? Um, lemon ginger mint is a mm -hmm. great one also. Yeah. Um, and we were talking before um, we went on about the coffee or cappuccino granita. Yes. So you could take your cappuccino, cool it, and do the same process, and you have yummy coffee granita. Mm hmm Yeah, delicious. I had that a lot in Italy last time I was there. It was fantastic. Okay, let's talk about granita. It's from Sicily. Yay! Go Italians! Juliana. <laughs> um, and you know the god that it's just like everything else in that in that country. There's just debate about you know. <laughs> Who did what? Who invented what? All the different kinds. Yeah. Lemon really I mean, rosemary would be a nice one. We talked about that earlier, too. Uh, yeah. Rosemary. Or thyme or. Um, rosemary pink grapefruit is like the classic granita to have as a palate cleanser for like oysters or fresh seafood. It's just so nice. Um, okay. So let's turn it over. Let's turn it over here. Oh, cam camera girl. Here we go. Here we go. We have a camera. Okay, not a camera. Um, so I have already done this simple syrup here. I don't know if you can see it. Kind of see it. It's a little dark, but yeah. It's totally dissolved. Okay. And, and, and there you go. Are you torturing me with that copper pot again? <laughs> yes. My uh, Movell copper pot, which I love, which is more than my rent. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to take about a tablespoon of the mint, finely chopped. I'm going to put it in there, and then I'm also going to put in these beautiful 
uh, grapefruit things. So that's equal parts, one cup to one cup water to sugar, and you just did yeah. it until the sugar dissolved yeah. on the heat? Yep, okay. and then you look cool. It takes minutes. Then I'm adding these two elements. Now, you know what would be really interesting? I was thinking, Debriana, is what if you do something like lemon, you added like red chili or something. I mean, you can oh. do some interesting things. We should try it. <laughs> Sweet, and then yeah. it lends itself to some like, tiny bit of jalapeno or something. It would be yeah. so, so this so is- Simple now. syrup is not like maple syrup. Maple syrup is a no. natural substance that comes out of a tree. That's right. Um, that is actually the sap of the yeah. sugar maple. Yeah. Um, which is not native to our area. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but this is cooling now. So we'll get back to that. Um, okay. Now we've got a- Juice these uh, grapefruit. So the uh, simple syrup, I think how we talked about this with the mojitas, it's really something you can have on hand, especially in the summer. If you make, if you like to make cocktails or you want to do this kind of stuff where you don't want a sugar element that isn't dissolved, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, you really want it incorporated. Well, we were talking earlier about making one out of tomato juice. Oh, gorgeous. Toma tomato juice one, which would be an awesome, like, pour if you poured vodka over it and made it into a Bloody Mary, it'd be amazing. Oh my God, that would be, but just think of the possibilities of what you could do with this. And it's so um, festive and nice on a table when you can have people over. Um. <laughs> yeah, well, we will again. So I'm not using the lemon squeezer, I'm using the Italian twister. Okay. Um, and I'm just gonna get all of the juice. Cause I don't have a juicer. Now, if I had a juicer, this would be easy. There, um, yeah. Well, it it's called fun. syrup because it is a syrup. <laughs> I think it's just a sweet, you know, a sweet liquid is a syrup. But maple syrup, I, I mean, they're both syrups, but maple syrup is a natural substance that um is already a syrup out of a tree it's a sap this is what happens when you dissolve the sugar from high heat and you let it cool naturally i will take it off of there i normally put it in a mason jar let it room temp cool and then put it in an airtight cover in my fridge mm -hmm. uh, because you know it doesn't last forever because you know you don't want it to um you know, bacteria and stuff like that but you know for a couple of weeks and you know you just use it when you want to sweeten things like if we just did this and we just added sugar it wouldn't be the it same it wouldn't dissolve yeah it does it wouldn't be the same like it's like you know when you have a drink and you're, you're it's cold water and you put in sugar and it just stays in the crystals you know mm -hmm. you want it to be incorporated into part of the body of whatever you're making so I need two cups of um, grapefruit juice. So that one grapefruit was. Is it? A, is it a cup? No, not yet. We're not in. We're not there yet. It's gonna probably take three or four grapefruit. It's beautiful though. The juice is gorgeous. The color is so. It's such a beautiful color. Um, and you don't want the pulp. You just you you want it to be the clear juice. It makes it makes it like glass. Mm hmm yeah when it when it gets frozen it is like a glass it's like stained glass it's so pretty but yeah that bloody mary idea i'm gonna try that yeah. <laughs> okay and let us not forget okay guess what you can add alcohol to granita yeah it doesn't freeze no but you could do it um afterwards like yeah do a pour over yeah, use that instead of ice. For example, if you like greyhounds, right, which is usually vodka and grapefruit, you could add, you know, a splash of vodka to this when you serve it, and it could be like this mm -hmm. little, you know, mini, mini alcoholic thing, which would be really great. Or not, you know, normally it's a little dessert, but it's totally up to you. Hey, spike your dessert. I like it. Like rum cake. <laughs> so I'm just kind of swirling this around to get the extra juice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. 
and it's looking good. Um, okay. okay, how much do I have? I have, all right, just, just over a cup. So I'm gonna need another grapefruit. <laughs> Yahoo! Because I need two cups. It might be two more grapefruits. Actually. Where did you get those? Sprouts, they're beautiful. Which one did you go to? Uh, the one on uh, Paseo de Peralta. Huh. I was over there. I did not see those. Well, there weren't very many left. Okay, that might be why. I got these beautiful Persian limes there, though. Look at that. They're, They're gorgeous. gorgeous. That's Organic Persian limes. I got my key limes, too, for the, uh, and they have Meyer lemons. They have a whole bunch of yummy citrus over there. Yeah, they had some interesting stuff. I got organic turmeric today, which I loved. And they have interesting, interesting things in there in their produce department. Yes, they do. Oh, they had jackfruit. Did you see that? I did see that. Every school, it's beautiful color. I don't see that often. I got some good tomatoes. Um, oh, I know what I'm making for Saturday night. I, it's a surprise. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Um, yeah, they had some pretty tomatoes I, there too. I got those. I had a friend say to me the other day, are you going to run out of recipes on Crown Kitchen? I'm like, no, are you kidding? kidding? Not in 10 lifetimes. <laughs> Not in 10 lifetimes. There's so much to make. Think oh about the gosh. Of the world. We'll never, it'll never be over. <laughs> <laughs> on we go. We go so pretty so last night um was our anniversary and Aww. we went to where uh, the first time we've gone out since march beginning of march you actually went out into the world we did we went to our favorite restaurant is nami up in the mountains because they're doing socially distant outdoor seating they turned their parking lot into the dining area. It's it's the coolest I thing. Oh, and it's, so you're cool. way up in the mountains and everybody's far apart and all of the staff is wearing masks and they totally like disinfect the seats and everything, the table before you sit down. And they're only open until eight. So we went up there and this is the funniest thing. <laughs> okay. We were having dinner and um, we asked for more um, of this delicious sauce that was um, part of the pork belly Asian slaw tacos. They were so good. Um. <laughs> and so um, the the person who came over to us, who I thought was the waiter, said, oh, that's very simple to make. It's basically sriracha sauce, um, some honey to taste, and a little bit of sesame oil. And it was so fabulous. So I thought to myself, well, that's funny. He's telling me how to make it. <laughs> like, do you always tell people how to make it? <laughs> so a little while later, he comes back and he goes, I love your show. I'm like, what? Oh, my God. He goes, "We, I watch it all the time. I, I love it. And I love what you guys are doing. And he just went on and on about watching the show. So I, I was just blown away. Wow. And then I heard somebody call him chef. And I'm like, that's the chef. <laughs> oh my God. I just, I thought that was the coolest thing. We have admirers that are secret admirers. <laughs> yeah, Chef Kiko. So I, I was just blown away. The food was phenomenal. I'll have to post it. We did the beautiful bento box and the Asian tacos, and they had a beautiful strawberry rhubarb pie with strawberry ice cream. It's beautiful. Oh my God. Yeah, it was fun. And it was nice to sit outside. It was so funny. These women who were the closest to us overheard us say it was our anniversary. And they said, oh, happy anniversary. I oh, said, thank you. It's the first time we've been out in months. And they go, us too. We ordered too much food. I said, I know. I was watching all the food go to your table. And I thought, they must be starving. <laughs> oh, my God. Everyone, well, you know, starving for being outside. Yeah. And the food, right? Yeah, it was it was very pretty. So he took a picture of this. I'll post it. I'll post it in the um, Corona Kitchen so you guys can see. It was so funny. <laughs> that is so awesome. That makes me so happy. That's fantastic. 
Yeah, it made me feel good. He said he was just keep doing it, and I, I love watching you. So a shout out to you, Chef Kiko. It was wonderful last night. Aw. So, okay, I have two cups of this beautiful pink. Oh, gorgeous. Without pulp. And now I'm just going to add the simple syrup to it, okay? So you, all you do, so it's two cups of grapefruit. And then I'm going to um, put a cup of simple syrup in it, right? Yeah. And that's oh, right. Your sister's here. Hi, Holly. <laughs> Hi, Holly. We had such a nice time last night talking about olive oil. I need to post that so you guys can see it. That was fantastic. I learned mm -hmm. so much. And today when I was in Sprouts, I was looking for the extra version, as always. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Oh, this is a beautiful beautiful liquid color of um i'm gonna put a little bit more of the um grapefruit zest in here oh my god it's so pretty okay pouring it in yeehaw okay and it's gonna have these little flecks of green in it almost like it's a mm -hmm. you know, granite or something it's really pretty um and you know Think about the herbs that you have at home. You could do thyme, you could do um, rosemary, basil, mm -hmm. you know, mint. <laughs> Your sister's ready for her greyhound. <laughs> okay, so here's kind of what it looks like, um, the simple syrup. It, I use the turbinado sugar and um, cane sugar. It's a gorgeous color with the... Uh, Grapefruit zest and mint chopped up. Okay. So that's going to go in the fridge. I'll use that for something else. Oh, yeah, sure. So now you want to take a 9 by 13 inch glass. Now, the reason why I like glass better than metal is because you're scraping the ice with yeah. the fork, and I don't want any metals. And I know a lot of people swear by the metal baking sheet. I'm just not into the metals <laughs> with my food, just me. Um, but you want it to get really cold, mm -hmm. so glass works really well. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pour this in, and guys, it's so easy. Now all I have to do is put this in the freezer. Yep, that's <laughs> it. So you just have to clear a space in your freezer because <laughs> you know how full mine is. I have to, what to do. <laughs> I have to take a few bodies out of mine. <laughs> so I'm going like this to spread the zest around. Okay, so here's the fun part, or it could be laborious. Up to you. It's about your attitude. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, it takes four hours to make granita. Why? Because Every hour, and this is my recipe, every hour I scrape, mm -hmm. some people do it every half hour. What do you do, Gabriana? I, I did it every hour. Okay, so we're, yeah. we're on to the cake. Yeah. So, every, so in an hour, I'm going to take a fork, and I'm going to scrape what has, we'll start okay. to drag it through. Yeah, drag it through, touch the bottom, drag it through, and you want it to just get it just in this, you know, it's like you're working with sand or something. Mm -hmm. And then you put it back in. And then another hour goes by. You take it out again, and you do it again. And it's just right. going to turn into these beautiful granules. And by the fourth time, you have this beautiful thing. Now, through the magic of television, I have <laughs> prepared something in advance. And I'm going to show it to you now, but I need a fork. So this is it. I think this is the fourth hour. Okay. Yeah. So in my freezer, and I need to make space for this other thing. Um, I put in, and I use a ceramic thing. So sue me, okay? Uh, and, well, gla glassish. <laughs> so oh my god, it's freezing. So look what I did. This is this was orange and mint. Go that way. Yeah. It is so oh, pretty. Amazing. Um. Oh my god. So good. I could eat the whole thing right now. It's so good with the mint. And this had the honey. This is the one again that had the honey simple syrup now. Yeah. So it's not, not as crunchy. Yep. 
It's not the perfect texture for traditional granita, but it's still damn good. Oh yeah, I did the last one I did was honey, and I noticed it was a little slushier, not as crunchy, but it tasted just fine. Oh my god, it's so good. It's like better than any popsicle you ever have. Um, the other thing is, is that okay? It's closing. <laughs> My hand was so cold, I couldn't move it. <laughs> um, you know, you you really want to um, make sure, and, and I don't know, I, I might try this. I was thinking, what if you did half sugar, half honey? You could try it. Well, and so test, test it out. I don't know, but somebody should try that because it is sweet. It's not insanely sweet, but... Mm -hmm. It is sweet. And if you want it to be less sweet, you know, that's up to you. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the whole point of making the syrup part is so that the sugar is dissolved and it evenly distributes through. So you, if you were going to do, you could do a cup of water and I don't know, three quarters of a cup of sugar. It becomes the juice. It mm -hmm. becomes part of this juice. So then the whole juice you know, becomes the granita as opposed to, oh, I'm going to separate, I'm a granule of sugar, and then it's going to get weird. You know? Right. So you can't do that. Right. Um, so just have fun with it. I am so excited to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably for my dinner tonight. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> well, it is cooling down, so it's not that hot right now. Anyway, I'll post a picture. I'll probably put it in a martini glass with like a mint garnish or something. Mm. Um, but you know, if I were having a dinner party, it'd be a great summer. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful yeah. dessert or palate cleanser, yeah. yeah. Yay, thank you, that was gorgeous. <laughs> also, I'm so sticky right now from the sugar, I need to wash my <laughs> Oh, well, that, that made me so happy, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone enjoy. Try making some granita, show us your flavors, and um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come on over. Please don't forget, um, we have 72 subscribers now, Debriana. And we have a nice guest coming up on Monday, people. Yes, we do. Yeah. So. Of course, tomorrow night is cocktail night. Cocktail on night tomorrow night. Debriana will be doing cocktails. Yep, I got one up my sleeve. <laughs> yeah, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah. yeah, so we have all kinds of exciting things. Um, so just go to the YouTube. Once we get to 100, I don't know, something's happening. Oh, just struck me. A, 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 a little bit of jalapeno in there. That's what I was saying. Lemon jalapeno might be a really good I, combo. I think lemon jalapeno and a little bit of red chili mm. um, and perhaps vodka <laughs> you know it could be good <laughs> a lot of simple syrup on my hands i got a lot of drugs. all right well you have a good night everybody yay cocktail friday yes it will be cocktail friday <laughs> another cocktail idea tomorrow okay stay safe all stay right everyone well. be safe wear a mask keep up the good fight yep Mind everyone. <laughs>